Some changes coming for students at two Corpus Christi ISD elementary schools. The district announcing students who currently attend Crockett Elementary will have a new home beginning in August. 3 News anchor Mike Gillespie is here now with more on that. Mike. Well, you know, just as the weekend was about to start, staff and families connected to Crockett Elementary found out that when the new school year begins, they'll be attending Rose Shaw Elementary. It's a move district leaders say is a part of their long range planning. In recent years, the Corpus Christi School District has been intentional when it comes to upgrading and improving its campuses. Just look at the bond proposals they have seen pass, including last November's bond 2022, and it won't take long to realize that dealing with aging campuses is a priority. According to Dr. John Prezes, who is the district's executive director for school leadership, that's the main factor behind the closing of Crockett. It's the use of the buildings, the overall age, the utility utilities, the plumbing, the AC is very old at Crockett, whereas Rose Shaw is fairly new and just got recently renovated. The Crockett campus has served the community for more than 50 years, and CCISD now says it is nearing the end of its useful life. On the other hand, Rose Shaw Elementary was built in 2005. It's about a half mile from the Crockett campus, and Prezis tells me that it has enough room to easily accommodate the additional students. No, sir, we definitely have the space for it at that campus. Um, it'll still be under capacity, so we'll still have plenty of, we'll have a couple of vacant rooms per grade level to expand if we need to in the future. As for the staff at Crockett, well, they're coming too. No staff member loses their jobs. Um, there's not a scenario when we have people lose their jobs. Everybody that's currently employed stays employed, and they have a position with CCISD. CCISD says it wants to make this a smooth transition and will soon begin sharing registration and transportation plans with Crockett families. Mike Gillespie, 3 News. Thank you, Mike, for that.